Okay, so now we've all done a wine tasting, right? But what about a coffee tasting? My curiosity brings me here to Boulder, Colorado. I'm about to sit down with Tamas Chrisman, who's one of the foremost coffee experts. And he's gonna show me how this all goes down. Tamas, this is a huge moment for me because you are about to walk me through my first ever coffee tasting. It's really exciting, Kelly. And this is actually a coffee cupping. Oh. Okay. And what a coffee, All right, what's the difference? Well, a coffee cupping is really the way the industry will uh, grade and evaluate coffees. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have three different processes and we're going to look for different qualities. So okay. I'm going to have you just pick up the cup, right. bring it up to your nose, and what with your mouth open, smell through your nose. So then you're just going to be looking for different fruits that you may be familiar with, different florals, chocolates, spices. This is a washed coffee. So really what we're looking oh for gosh. is a citrusy, sort of, you know, maybe a lemony rind uh, aromas with floral, uh, potentially. Wait, I almost just got a little orange. Exactly. Does that make sense? It makes perfect <laughs> sense. So this one is the natural process. We're looking for those red, blue Yeah, this fruits. one still, it has more of like a spicy, savory kind of full vibe to it, I would say. This is the anaerobic process, the innovation, the special innovation process. Okay. So what we're going to find here is basically very unorthodox, Ooh. very uh, over the top, uh, very high fidelity in all of its aromatic attributes. So this process is called cutting the crust. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon and I'm going to demonstrate once and then I'm going to have you Please. Uh, go ahead and cut. And you're going to push it down and around and swirl and breathe in through your nose <laughs> and get that just burst of amazing volatile aromatics that you're, you okay. know. It only takes one or two cups and then you're an expert at cutting the crust. Ooh, that one was like really like chocolatey and like darker, stronger. Right, it's, exactly. It's going to say flavors, but it smells. And then we're going to actually drink. That's our next <gasps> big thing. But okay. it's really exciting because this is one of the socially acceptable ways to slurp and spit. I don't think we've ever slurped and spit on eTravel Rock TV before. This is a new one for me. So now that we have our spit cups, okay. the fun will begin. And we're going to try effectively to inhale it without inhaling it. So we're going to kind of just try to quickly get off of the spoon. All right. <laughs> and that's it. Perfect. And now that I've learned how to cup coffee, it's finally time to taste the finished product. This will be so much fun because okay. this is what it's going to be like actually at home. So I'm going to start you off with the wash process, which was the one we started with in the cupping. Okay. There you are. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm going to pour myself a little bit as well. I think we need to do a coffee cheers. I think you're right. Seems appropriate. It does. It does. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It's just so clean. Exactly. You know? You're going to get the clarity, the just crystalline acidity, some slight fruit notes, but just super clear, caramely. Is and delicious. What I love about coffee. These are those aha moments with coffee where it's just, you know, transcendent. You know, I want these individually to be sensory experiences. So when the, cu the customer gets this coffee, grinds it at home, it's going to be like a theatrical experience in the mind. So now it's espresso time. Remember, espresso, there's no X, right? That's exactly right. There is no X in espresso. Not right. at all. So I figure we finish off our uh, tasting experience with a wonderful tribute to Italy. A little Italian lesson with the espresso. Exactly. Okay. This is our crema dolce, which is our traditional North Italian Sweet style espresso. Sweet cream. Exactly. This is supposed to represent the traditional roots of Italian espresso. Well, Tamis, you walked me through cupping, and then a tasting, and then finally a little bit of an Italian lesson here. One final salute here. So cheers to you guys. Thank you, cheers to you.